Good day everyone. Welcome to MF T T. Welcome to another episode of Challenging, Exciting, Fun and Interesting Math Lessons. I'm Sir Oliver, your full math teacher for today. Are you excited to learn a new lesson? That's great! In this video, I will be teaching you special cases of factoring, math rate lesson, MET 1 for week 1. In this lesson, you will find how easy is it to factor certain polynomials when you are familiar with special products. In order to combine the correct factors and formulas, you must be able to identify correctly the special products involved. Our learning competency factors completely the different types of polynomials. A. Polynomials with common monomial factor. B. Difference of two squares. C. Sum and difference of two cubes. D. Perfect square trinomials. E. General trinomials. But we will be focusing on the difference of two squares. Our learning objective for today is factor binomials that are per uh, that are different of the squares. Let's have a review first. Find the product. 4 times 4. What's the answer? 16. Correct. 2x times 2x. What's the answer? 4x squared. That's great. How about x squared y times x squared y? What's the answer? Louder? x to the fourth y squared. You did it. That has something to do with what? Perfect square, correct. What is a perfect square? Perfect square is the product of a rational number multiplied by itself. Let's talk about perfect square numbers. When you multiply a counting number by itself, the result will be perfect square numbers. 1 squared, 1. 2 squared, 4. 3 squared, 9. 4 squared, 16. 5 squared, 25. 6 squared, 36. 7 squared, 49. And so on. If the variables are raised with an even exponent, then it is a perfect square. Let's have an example. x squared. That is a perfect square. x to the fourth. And x squared, y to the sixth. Let's talk about our topic for today about factoring a difference of two squares. To factor a difference of two squares, Write the product of the sum and the difference of two quantities being squared. Let's have the pattern. a squared minus b squared. What are the factors? a plus b and a minus b. A polynomial is a difference of two squares if it satisfies these two conditions. First condition, it is a binomial and each term is a perfect square. Second condition, there is a minus sign between the two terms. Remember that these conditions will be your guide to tell whether a given binomial is factorable by difference of two squares. So let's have example 1. x squared minus 9. So let us see if the two conditions given will be satisfied so that the given example will be factorable. Condition 1. Each term is a perfect square. Is x squared a perfect square? Yes. How about 9? Is it a perfect square? Yes. So therefore, condition 1 is check. How about the second condition? 
Is there a minus sign between the two terms? Check. So therefore, let us get the factors of x squared minus 9. Let's start with x squared. What is the square root of x squared? So you have x and you have x. How about the second term, 9? What is the square root of 9? We have here 3 and 3. So therefore, the factors of x squared minus 9 are x plus 3 and x minus 3. So let's have another example. So we have our second example. Factor 4x squared minus 25. First condition. Is 4 a perfect square? Yes. How about x squared? That is also a perfect square. How about 25? Is it a perfect square? What do you think? Yes. Since all the terms are per perfect square, Condition 1 is check. How about condition 2? Is there a minus sign between the two terms? Check. So therefore, the factors are, let's start with the first term, 4x squared. What is the square root of 4? 2 and 2. How about x squared? You have x and x. How about the square root of 25? You have here 5 and 5. So therefore, what are the factors of 4x squared minus 25? What are the factors? 2x plus 5 and 2x minus 5. Very good. So let's try a different one. How can we factor binomial if any or both of the two terms contain a fraction? Take note, if it is a fraction, both the numerator and the denominator must be perfect squared. So let's try this example. Factor 121y to the 8 minus 9 over 25. So let us see if all the conditions will be satisfied. Are all the terms perfect squared? Is 121 a perfect square number? Yes. How about y to the 8? What do you think? Yes, because it is raised with an even exponent. How about the fraction 9 over 25? Are both numerator and denominator perfect square numbers? Yes. So therefore, condition 1 is check. Is there a minus sign between the two terms? There is. So therefore, condition 2 is check also. Now, let us factor. Let's start with the first term, 121y to the 8. What is the square root of 121? You have here 11 and 11. How about y to the 8? y to the 8? You have y to the 4th and y to the 4th. Let's have the fraction 9 over 25. So we just get the square root of the numerator and denominator. What is the square root of 9 over 25? Do you have any idea? Great. 3 over 5 and 3 over 5. So therefore, the factors are 11y to the 4th plus 3 over 5 and 11 y to the 4th minus 3 over 5. So let's have the fourth example. Example 4. Factor b to the 4th minus 8. Let us see if all the conditions will be satisfied. First condition. Each term must be a perfect square. Is b to the 4th a perfect square? Yes. It is a perfect square. How about 8? You are saying something? No, it's not a perfect square. You're right. So 8 is not a perfect square. So since one of the conditions is not satisfied, 
we can say that b to the fourth minus 8 is considered 9. So that's the end of our video. Two things that you need to remember in learning mathematics.